it's not a very good one, but a very simple word. Um, but it, it is comparing to the uh, 1997. We have a military coup. I, I, I think we have to recognize that it was a coup. Uh, in 1997, uh, the situation today is not that bad. I think we still have a room to improve or to uh, put the, the situation back to uh, at least in, the, in a better kind of uh, way so that uh, we can all go back to work. So um, there's a hope that uh, you know, uh, we could find a way to compromise uh, and get uh, the situation back to the normal. This is the, the issue. I think this is the uh, political issue that the, the, the CNRP have, have decided. I hope that the CPP will take uh, uh, the commitment to promote the uh, cultural dialogue more seriously. Uh, we have lived uh, through many dif difficult or troubled times where uh, confrontation and violence did not solve any problem. Only uh, get Cambodia into the situation that uh, the people uh, suffered greatly and we have uh, caused a lot of destruction to our nation, so I think uh, we committed to dialogue and uh, we continue to be patient and hoping that uh, there will be a time soon that we can talk to each other. Um, you know, we have to find way that the, uh, the, to, to stop the problem. Uh, as you know, there was a problem of uh, of having, uh, uh, especially uh, party opposition, had to encounter through unjust this way of, of, of intimidation uh, by using the court, by using all kind of uh, tool that the government have uh, to threat our existence. So um, we have to be able to work and to be able to try each other. Mm -hmm. That uh, we must work uh, in the environment that uh, we can be uh, able to live peacefully together even though who is going to be in power. So it's not an easy one. Mm -hmm. uh, Cambodia never able to uh, uh, have this privilege of having the changing of the, the, the government or the system and we still able to uh, live side by side uh, peacefully together but hoping that by be more patient by uh, continue to uh, to commit ourselves uh, to peaceful negotiation and peaceful way of solving the problem hoping that we will achieve this uh, objective CNRP or, or former uh, Samarazi Party have a unique way of, uh, of, of, of operating the party. We have uh, our senior party member who seem to have a very independent mind and an independent way of doing the party job without relying on the uh, direction or guideline from from the top leader, so uh, we get used to have a leader living in, in exile for many times. Mm -hmm. I myself, you know, since uh, when we still uh, at the Samrazi party, uh, I'm already be the party whip, so uh, I am able to manage all the party member of parliament. Um, with very little guy uh, uh, from 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 the Ranzi. So I think we um, will have no need to, to officially appoint any new leader. 
because we still communicate with him through video conference, through Skype and all this stuff. And tomorrow we're going to meet again with the uh, party representative from all the provinces. Uh, we will uh, allow, or not allow, but we're going to have a Skype conference with him as well. So uh, this is not um, uh, something that really uh, uh, stopping us from actively involved in our, our party activities. But uh, it would be better if he's around. <laughs> so I think the question of uh, appointing uh, another person to lead the party is not uh, on our agenda. Okay. I think we're very hopeful um, from the uh, 2013 uh, uh, election result. Uh, we, we found that uh, you know we are at least uh, half of the population are supporting our party for the first time. So we hoping that this will reflect the result of the commune election with very similar result from the 2018 national election. That's why we are working very hard, even though we have some problem now uh, where Mr. Gonsaka is, is, is uh, not able to uh, function or uh, doing his duty uh, uh, in meeting uh, public or, or his supporter. Uh, we as parliamentarians have now uh, take over some of the activity. You know, MP will go to the provinces meeting the people and we prepare our. Uh, Set, uh, we so hoping the people to register, uh, to vote, and get also in getting the identif identification card and so on. So I think uh, we hopeful, we hopeful that that uh, not half of the community will be on our side of the party, or at least uh, seem uh, very close to that uh, amount uh, will be the result of the coming uh, mm -hmm. community election. Like I already mentioned earlier, um, um, it's not, we have not been any uh, evidence in our past history that the changing of government uh, will come smoothly, peacefully. That's why we are, had to work double harder to, to create this new environment because, um, especially for myself, you know, I, I have suffered under the Khmer Rouge um, and I blame the leader of the country. And uh, I have committed myself to spend most of my, my, my life of the Khmer Rouge over to not to support any individual, but hoping that we, I can whatever contribute something to, to create a system of governing system that will not permit any leader to, to destroy his own people and country easily. There has to be a system that will, will be protecting the people and of also to maintain a peace for the country for, for a long period of time and not to rely on any uh, individual uh, uh, to, 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 to solely uh, 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 keep uh, uh, the country uh, uh, in peace. So I, I would, would more looking into having a, a system than an individual a leader. So um, by having uh, shown that we are not uh, working uh, through violence, we are not uh, prepared to take up arm to struggle uh, to overthrow anyone, uh, hoping that the ruling party would would, would understand this and would. Would, would work with us uh, to create this kind of system that we can uh, uh, have for the first time in our uh, Cambodian history, that uh, we, we can have, uh, uh, be able to live uh, uh, together and, and, uh, and allow uh, responsibility to, to change hands from time to time. But uh, we're all happy uh, to, to be part of the, of the, of the peaceful uh, new uh, way of, uh, of, of Cambodian uh, 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 political system.
I think uh, in politics, uh, you have a different way of, of, of getting support, or sometimes you create fear. Uh, you you understand in Australia, you know, John Howard have done that very well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he would create you, uh, he would the opportunity uh, when the, the uh, 9-11 happened in the United States and to present himself to the public that he would be the only one who can prevent any disaster happening in Australia. So I think uh, uh, for us, I, I personally don't, don't, don't like to see any of our political party in this country uh, using any uh, kind of message, harmful message, even though it, it benefits the party. Example, the border issue. You know, uh, even though some of our members were doing all these things, you go to the border, bringing the people there. Even myself, have, uh, I used to go to the border, but, but uh, well, the way I did it uh, was to create awareness and try to bring the government into attention that the border issue must be transparent. We are the citizen of the country, uh, ought to have the right to see how the deal was made and how we're going to measure the border and so on, but not to use it as a political gain, uh, to stir up trouble because, you know, Cambodia uh, passed uh, history also border issue is part of uh, what a lot of uh, destruction of the country. But uh, we have to look at a more um, less sensitive issue. And the uh, CNRP has done very well, you know, without having to go to the border issue, or without going to the Vietnamese issue. Mm -hmm. We can go on to the, uh, um, you know, um, uh, salary, minimum wage, for example. We can go to uh, look in the creation of job for a lot of our young people. We can go to the health sector, we can go to the education sector. A lot of policy need to be drawn up and uh, defined so that the people can can take more interest in the part of the party political platform than, than go to another issue that could call uh, not just division among our nation, but it calls more struggle between our neighbor. Because Cambodia is Cambodia, you know, we live in, in this part of the world and we cannot take Cambodia anywhere else. We have to deal with Vietnam, we have to deal with Thailand, all this history over there. Mm -hmm. So we have to be realistic that um, we have to be, have the policy of living uh, with friendly with our neighbor and uh, we have to have a very good foreign policy. Because as a small nation, you cannot build up arm to fight with Vietnam or to fight with Thai when it comes to the border issue. But we have a more uh, effective pro foreign policy to, 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 to deal with, with this kind of issue, but not to use it as a political uh, gain. So uh, this hoping that uh, will be, the, will be the, the policy of our party mm -hmm. and hoping that this uh, uh, commitment, new commitment, will we hope to smooth out uh, the differences between our party and the uh, uh, CPP. Of course, we are the liberal people, you know. Um, we have different uh, brain and we don't wait for the one, one person to tell us what to do. Um, and also, uh, uh, um, CNRP is a, is a joint between the Samaransi Party and the Human Rights Party. By having the two parties merge together uh, with this common effort to, to succeed in winning the election, doesn't mean that everyone has the same uh, idea or the same uh, thinking. Uh, we have to learn to sort out the differences and come up with the common ideology as much as we could uh, um, just to uh, ensure that uh, we are able to win the election uh, for the first time in 35 years so that uh, the, the democratic uh, uh, principle can be in plan or implemented. Uh, we're hoping also that by changing, keep changing uh, uh, from one to party to the other, only to hope uh, strengthen country institutions. Uh, 
uh, we support to uh, strengthen our institution, we support to provide, deliver good services to our people, we support to, uh, you know, have a, a, a government that would, would care for their own country and, and people. Uh, but we are too busy of fought against each other among the parties. Because, like uh, another country, you know, the issue of uh, competition between party only occurred during the election. And after that, they will work on uh, building up the country. They look, uh, they were working on improving the system so that uh, people can receive uh, good uh, services and so on. But we uh, will move around and around uh, among, fighting among, among the party. Sometimes it's very serious, uh, like uh, I mentioned in 1997, uh, we were using arm and shooting and killing each other. And uh, after that, we only heard about court cases, someone will be sentenced to how many years. And uh, I listened to the Prime Minister's speeches. Most of the time was about other parties. <laughs> he should talk more about what are the way that we can hope to improve our agricultural uh, production, uh, what uh, we can cut down corruption, because corruption is terribly bad in this country, seriously bad. Um, um, and, and the way that the government appointing brother and sister or cousin to, uh, of the minister who are able to appoint all these relatives uh, into the position, and all, a lot of positions were on sale, for sale. Uh, in this country, uh, it, 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 it only hoped to, to create uh, injustice society. Uh, the, like I already said uh, many times in my effort to bring the attention, uh, even to our, my own party, not to the government, uh, regarding to a, a peaceful Cambodia. Uh, the peace, no peace without justice. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot have peace by shut up everyone and threaten them and throw them in jail or shoot and kill them a few of them so that they would be scared to uh, express themselves uh, again corruption again the government again the deforestation again all this bad behavior of the government uh, you call that peace is terrible so um it's important that we uh, we able to we have to uh, uh, able to reduce the tension between parties, mm -hmm. but move on to look at what each party, each government can do, because we are coming out of the terrible war. We, one third of our population was killed. Uh, Eighty percent of our country were destroyed. Why we still continue fooling around like a child? You know, we should be grown up. And, and, and since the 1993, after the uh, UN election, and we, up to now, we look at the, we are 25 years now. And 25 years is a person, is an adult, full grown, have enough experience to live on in a society more independently and able to think and do things more responsibly. So I like to have Cambodia, uh, as a society, uh, able to live as an adult, not continue to go back as a child, and fooling around and, and uh, care less about anything else but themselves. Some important institutions such as the uh, military have to be a national army, not to be a party armed forces. Uh, the court system has to be independent, should, uh, done, should do the job to, in, to provide uh, social justice uh, and fair. Uh, 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 and uh, uh, the uh, wealth the distribution must be more appropriate, you know. We have a society that has 7% growth, but most of that, 80% of that will, will go to about 3% of the population. That is not, it's not fair. 
uh, leaving uh, 97 percent who are getting only about 20 percent and live in poverty and have been exploited uh, by the rich and the powerful. And the, the land that belonged to them from uh, the ancestors have been taken away by company. You know, that is unfair. We have to change all of that. We make sure that, that there will be a, a social security system will be in place to ensure that who have made a lot of money uh, will be able to contribute uh, to society through a proper tax. And the poor the, uh, will have a, a, at least the opportunity to be educated. You know, I went to Australia, you know. Uh, I was so admired by the Australian system that giving the people opportunity to be educated. And I was so much uh, unhappy um, when I returned um, uh, from Australia that I went to whatever a restaurant I would talk to people who serving me, uh, where their background are. And there was many of them were, 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 were saying to me that they were doing all right at school. They want to continue with, with the education, but the families were so poor. So they got, they lost the, they, they don't have the opportunity. So I very much want to see that the, I don't want to use equal opportunity, you know, or the word equal opportunity, but at least some opportunity to, 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 to the Cambodian people. Uh, in, in, we can start the education to ensure that uh, they can go to school if they want to go to school. There will be a government um, uh, fund that can provide them through loan, cheap loan or whatever, that we, what we did in Australia, or what we do in Australia actually, um, to, to give them a chance. People have to live, to live with hope. Any government must provide people with hope, you know. I mean, if you a new government, uh, after all, you could decide this current government of bad, uh, doing bad thing, uh, this way, that way. But when you come to power and you don't give people any opportunity or hope, I think you, you better not to not try to, to to make any change or or not not trying to get uh, into power for 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 the country's sake. Uh, you better you better prepare yourself that you will have to get uh, ensure that you're going to get a, a, a real uh, result for improving all the things that you've been criticized for and also to give the people hope for the future of their life. Vietnam is the country uh, that found really uh, kind of difficult uh, in Cambodian uh, mind. Because, because this is the thing, you know, we have to change that our, 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 our people mind, mindset about Vietnam. Mm -hmm. you know, of course, you know, we have history, bad history, you know, we still have Khmer Krom continue to suffer under the Vietnamese communists. But like I already said to you earlier, um, we are here, Vietnam is there, our next door, uh, we cannot take Cambodia anywhere else, uh, we have to learn to live with it but not learn to be the slave of Vietnam, not learn to, to, to live as the uh, little satellite of, uh, of, of Vietnam, but to live as a country independent and sovereignty. Um, to gain Vietnam respect, we have to respect, respect ourselves. I have uh, been telling our people that you are always pointing at Vietnam, or taking our land or, or try to control us, but never, we never point the finger at ourselves that why Vietnam is able to do all these things to us. This is the question we should ask ourselves. So instead of blaming Vietnam, we have to work harder as a nation. You have to be united. You have to be uh, uh, more uh, capable as a nation uh, to protect our right, protect our independence, have to like I already said too, uh, our foreign policy must be uh, strong and clear and to be more effective. Um, 
you know, uh, I believe that in today's world, you don't have to have a nuclear weapon to gain respect from any uh, country. Uh, it's important to uh, have a lot of good example of many small nations to be able to uh, work to improve the quality of the, the people and, and the policy were effective that uh, whoever, how big the country uh, is, uh, you can stand up you know, face to face with them uh, in equal terms. So I think uh, 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 we, con we, we ought to uh, put uh, less blame on Vietnam and, and put more blame on ourselves and see what we can fix our behavior and our ability uh, to deal with the situation of Vietnam more appropriately. The quality of education is good. Um, you have to work hard. You don't. You cannot cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work. You have to uh, work hard to get your your degree. Um, but while doing my education, um, I observe uh, the Australian political system. That why uh, all my life that I was started as the uh, since 1993 as the newly elected MP, I would was trying to promote uh, democracy. Uh, I was trying to debate maybe strongly. Some of them didn't like me. They said I'm more Western in the way I uh, questioned the minister or questioned the government member in the parliament. Um, tried to, to strengthen our national institution. I strongly believe that if Cambodia were to be a, a nation, a peaceful nation for a long, long, long time, uh, Cambodia have to adopt uh, democratic uh, uh, pluralism with a very strong institution, a very good institution in, in, in place. Uh, we should not rely on powerful individuals. Uh, Australia, you have so many government in and out, but the system was so good that whoever is going to run the country, you cannot kill people like Pol Pot, mm. you know? Whoever you're going to run the country, you cannot control the judge, you control the court, you cannot save the land without uh, or, 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 or corrupt, taking bribe, whatever you like. You know, recently, you're from Sydney, uh, the Premier of Sydney was just a bottle of wine, you know, he had yes. to resign. I like the Cambodia to be, you know, able to go to that kind of uh, 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 stage that the leader is not there to, 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 to have uh, uh, countless power and, 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 and money, but to be more responsible. And, and to be a responsible leader, you, 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 it's a hard work. I don't think anyone wants to be in 30 years as a prime minister, <laughs> uh, especially in a country that needs a lot of development and a lot of uh, reform to take place. So I like the system so much that I, all my uh, 26 years, um, here in Cambodia. I uh, worked so hard in the parliament to try to improve uh, the parliament as an institution, make sure that parliament will represent the, the nation, will, will be able to hope uh, to oversight the government, uh, ensure that we have a, a good law in place, uh, make sure that um, uh, you know good service is provided to the people. Uh, Sometimes I was so disappointed kind of Australian, a similar system I'll be here in Australia. I will be very, very happy because I can ensure that uh, we, do, we are not uh, have to go through all this suffering that we have encountered, you know, in the 60s, war, the 70s, Pol Pot, even under the uh, uh, Vietnamese invasion, we all have all this uh, suffering. I think to end the suffering uh, and to, to stop the leader from abusing the power and make the country suffer, we might have a good system in place.